Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Q&A session with the uh, filmmaker Pushpendra Singh. Uh, Pushpendra Singh's uh, latest film, Laila or Sadgi, uh, is being uh, screened in the Indian Cinema uh, Now section of 25th International Film Festival. Uh, Pushpendra, warm welcome to the session. And thank, thank you, you for thank agreeing you. to... Uh, join online and he will also be uh, joining us uh, with the festival in uh, Kochi and Talasheri. Thank you for that. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Pushpendra Singh uh, uh, is a renowned Indian filmmaker, uh, currently based out of Pune. He's an alumnus of uh, Film and Television Institute of uh, India, Pune. Uh, his uh, works uh, have been showcased at uh, Berlin Ali and uh, Busan International Film Festivals, uh, to name a few. Um, and his uh, works, are, uh, not, notable works are Lajwanti, uh, Ashwatthama, etc. Um, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. And uh, uh, Pushpindra is in conversation with uh, Mr. Sunny Joseph, uh, cinematographer, filmmaker, and uh, film uh, academic. Uh, film. Uh, he's uh, he's one of the. I mean, he's one of the uh, indispensable part of uh, Indian uh, parallel film movement. Uh, he, he's also an alumnus of FTII and uh, now currently he's uh, the head of academics at the K.R. Narayanan Film Institute uh, in Koteyam, Kerala. Uh, he's also the general council member of Kerala State Chalachitra Academy and he also served uh, in the selection committee of the uh, uh, film festival, 25th edition of the film festival. Uh, Sunny sir, uh, warm welcome to the session and uh, thank you for joining and uh, handing over the session to uh, you, sir. Thank you. Uh, okay, warm welcome, uh, Pushpendra. And uh, it is my uh, no, great pleasure to be talking to you uh, because when I saw your film in the you know, selection process, the very first time, you know, you know, the, uh, uh, my heart was filled with joy to see such a wonderful film. And thanks for that, you know, for your creation. No, and, thank you uh, for inviting the film <laughs> and doing the Q and A, sir. I'm I'm honored. Yes, and uh, and let uh, you know I am. I was very enthralled by the you know images and uh, the way you were telling the story. I know mm -hmm. that you are deeply into the folk traditions and folk tales of uh, you know uh, all you know the, the regions mm -hmm. and uh, make such a strong uh, political film using a folk tale and uh, uh, to bring out a very contemporary uh, subject uh, within the uh, film is uh, a wonderful wonderful achievement can you just and uh, shall we begin with your beginning you know i know that like great money Kaul, you also wanted to be become an actor and then you have uh, you know joined the institute and after your foundation course you started uh, uh, you are loud towards directing. Uh, we would like to hear about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I joined uh, FTI in the acting course, but uh, it was this common course for six months, foundation course, you know, which uh, intrigued me towards filmmaking. And uh, uh, for our diploma film, uh, we had invited Amit Datta, so who directed our feature film. And then uh, during the post production of that film, uh, uh, you know, Amit decided to stay back in Himachal. And then, so he requested me to handle everything. So there was a great learning experience for me. And uh, and since then, you know, I decided that, you know, I'll, I'll also uh, start directing films. So, yeah, so I assisted Amit Datta and Anup Singh uh, on, on, on their films later on. And then I started making my own films. Yeah, so that was my journey. Yes. So I would like to, you know, bring in the, your experience. You know, you, somewhere you said in one interview that uh, after uh, institute, you uh, started uh, solo performances using a video camera, and yes, that yes, experience yes. also led to uh, this uh, decision. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, because when I went to Bombay, uh, I realized that uh, you know, as an actor, you are dependent on others. Uh, you know, you are dependent on the casting director. You are like chasing directors. Uh, and you know, like I felt it very humiliating for myself uh, that ex that whole experience. And I realized that uh, you know the whole industry actually thrives on mediocrity a lot. 
you know you talk to the casting directors you talk to directors and you realize that you know uh, you know it's thriving on that so then i decided let like, you know like why should why shouldn't i do something on it so initially i thought let me do a play so i was talking to my batch mates to my friends but in bombay because everyone needs to work so that wasn't possible so then i decided that let me do some some solo performance and why not use the medium of the video so yeah then i started doing storytelling uh, uh, video performance and uh, yeah so you know it started traveling and uh, uh, gurpal invited it to sona pani film festival and that uh, you know encouraged me a lot and then i started reading those stories uh, to further do solo performances and then i came across vijay dandeta and then reading his stories you know i found them very cinematic full of imagery and that poetic quality i thought you know it is best translate to uh, cinema rather than a solo performance you know so then i went ahead and i met vijay dandeta and uh, so he gave me the rights of lajwanti initially so i made that film first and this this is uh, leela or sadgit is also an adaptation of his short story but uh, he did he had given the rights to someone else so later on then i thought maybe i'll have do an adaptation and take rights by then he had passed away so i took rights from his son so, yeah you so, were uh, talking about uh, you know uh, this uh, i know that you were very much deep into the uh, literary uh, no world and also yes. to uh, somewhere i read that uh, bhakti movement you were yes, talking yes. And, uh, yeah, you were yeah. talking uh, you know, like kabir and Exactly. Exactly. Poet uh, in uh, you know uh, yeah. Kashmir, Lal yeah. Dev. Lal Dev. Yeah. So can you say something? Yeah, yeah. Of course, yes. Because in Bombay, uh, no, actually, it started in FT itself. Uh, you know, Shabnam Virmani had come and she had screened this. Uh, she had made four features and she had, she had started the Kabir project. So uh, you know, I was. because i am into literary traditions and uh, you know one of read kabir also at an nfti uh, you know uh, uh, the parallelly there was this whole tradition of many people many students are into spirituality and they had invited uh, pralas singh tipaniya also uh, at fti twice so you know uh, i was attracted to it and and you know like i thought because you know both the country is going through a lot you know communalism this communal differences uh, and i could see that in my village and across the north especially you know so i always thought that you know the solution lies in in kabir and all those poets actually who also dealt with the same issues uh, at that time and they spoke about it you know so uh, then i started following the kabir festival attending it and uh, so i came across you know lalde then other poets poetesses and poets also so uh, yeah so you know when i decided to adapt this film uh, the story kechuli uh, by vijay dandita uh, you know so one of the reasons was also because uh, i thought the ending reminded me of lalde a lot you know uh, so you know i set it up in kashmir that's why yeah yeah you know this uh, coming back to laila you know yeah. in one of the uh, somewhere in the conversation of the characters it said that isn't there anything permanent no good yeah. no true no peace yes yes no yes. eventually the film is uh, you know searching for that yes you yes know, exactly kind of uh, harmonious yeah. existence yeah you know in your yeah. um, short taking also i see that you know in uh, very rarely you see that a kind of uh, in a very good osuvian way i am telling uh, yes, yes. is uh, the, the characters and the whole nature everything is holistically one yeah one yeah, yeah very exactly. very very happy to uh, you know observe that throughout the film and yeah. uh, you know and uh, how could you know one of the strong theme in the film is uh, feminist uh, you know thoughts yeah. how yeah. you you know see the character you know laila in that context yeah Uh, uh actually you know vijay dandeta had written all this you know in the, in the folk tale itself yeah 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 so i didn't have to do much you know i just adapted it and you know uh 
what I did was I changed those uh, uh, elements like you know the feudal lord, the middleman, etc. Uh, you know because to Kashmir, because in Kashmir I thought that you know uh, security forces are the new feudal lords, and the local security, the local police, you know the forest uh, security guards, they are the middlemen. You know. Uh, and also this whole idea of uh, the Indian state and the local state and the real people on ground, you know. So this whole, yeah, I just did that, you know, I just adapted that. Otherwise, all the feminist ideas are by Vijay Dandita. He was a Marxist, a visionary who wrote this story in, in late 60s, you know, ahead of its times. So, you know, when you, you know, also you are, you know, uh, you are political... Uh, you know, strong politic political affinities are visible in the film, yeah. and uh, uh, and uh, this is something which will be interesting. You know, I also feel that you know, materialism and spirituality can go together harmoniously. Yes, uh, you yes. Know, you know, this is also that is there. That is one of the search in the film. Can it yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, because uh, you know, when I was traveling in Kashmir and I was doing my research also, uh, I realized that uh, you know, religion is a very big factor. Uh, so you see, Jammu is like Hindu dominated, and it's uh, uh, you know, Hindu sentiments are like very powerful there. And if you go to the Kashmir Valley, Islamic sentiments are very high. Uh, and and uh, and people and if you look at the Kashmiri past, actually. You know, this, it's the spiritual Sufi traditions and the Shaivite traditions which held the valley really together, you know. So, uh, I then I, you know, this thought, uh, you know, is coming to me that, you know, you cannot separate that from the people and you can bring them together through those traditions, you know, and find a middle ground. Uh, uh, and so, you know, because people are like really emotionally attached. And uh, you can only counter that by an ideology which, you know, they can understand better and which speaks to them. So, uh, I think Sufi, Sufism and spiritual traditions actually uh, are the middle ground in that way. Yeah. So I, I you know long, some time back, I was reading the great, uh, you know, Japanese monk, a small poem by uh, Japanese monk, Ikkyu. Yeah. And he, four lines, he says, poem is only this. He says, the root cause for all illness of this nation is in the accumulated wealth of the few. This is 800 years before Karl Marx. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how can a spiritual master like a Q talk yeah. about Das Kapital? It is possible, I think. Yeah, of course, yes. Especially in a country like ours, actually, yeah. That's the way out, I think. Yeah, that's the way you can counter communalism. Yes, and, and speak uh, to a large majority. Yeah, and coming back to the you know the mizanzine of uh, your yeah. film, you no, know, yeah. this yeah. this you know, very measured, peaceful camera movements and uh, you know, yeah. little tiltups and you know, yeah, panics, yeah. and which. Uh, is giving a kind of uh, tranquility actually and yeah. um, I have seen only twice you are breaking out of that yeah, one yeah. was the slow motion of the trimming of the fur from the yeah. sheep yeah. Yeah. and yeah. there yeah. was a slow motion shot I think exactly. yes. and yes. Uh, when after the uh, you know that uh, slapping of the police man yeah, yeah. You know, uh, they are walking back yeah, the handheld hand shot. Yeah. Hand shot. Yeah. Uh, no, it was, of course, it is, uh, you know, it, uh, it makes it, uh, you know, underlined uh, these mm -hmm. two elements. And yeah. uh, there are, you know, many images come to my mind when the tree is on fire and yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. the uh, skin, uh, you know, snake skin against the Sun. The sun, yes, yes, and uh, you know, and uh, many, many uh, such images. And your cinematographer Ranbir Das, you know, yes, Ranbir yes. Das, Ranbir he, has Das. A, uh, he has done a wonderful job, and uh, I yeah. appreciate it. And he has been, you know, I I think he could uh, very well understand your script, and it's uh, it's good. 
that a cinematographer can you know yeah uh, we spent quite a lot of time yeah him and uh, the production designer he he's, he was also a fresh graduate from the film institute so uh, you know and then my uh, chief assistant director he was also from the institute so we four actually we spent a lot of time doing the tech reiki and then i had actually spent uh, much more uh, time i had gone earlier there into the spaces so then i let them also wander into the spaces and then we would discuss ideas and principles so yeah it, it really became very easy then and they were also very supportive and and of course my references were a lot of paintings also and uh, ranbir uh, is also into paintings and he would exchange paintings with me and then we would discuss uh, yeah and it, it was very difficult because we were making it in a very tight and low budget uh, but yeah the spirit actually yeah, they managed it yeah yeah and uh, coming you know let me come into a little bit of a uh, technological aspect of the making uh, yes how did it help that it is uh, you shot in digital i, I yes. suppose it looks very you know analog uh, film like yeah, yeah. yes yes, um, yes, and, uh, yes. because there are no great exposures by uh, ranbir uh, yes, but yes. Uh, how how do you uh, feel working with uh, digital uh yeah because you know uh, i started uh, with di- with digital with my first film itself so uh, i feel that you know it has democratized film making a lot and uh, and it has a huge uh, possibility and it depends on how one wants to use it so uh, yeah it, but in this film because it was a fable i wanted that quality of uh, you know a fable uh, you know it's it's like an analog feeling also and and digital gives you that option to achieve that also you know so if yeah. you may ask which camera you used uh, we used the red uh, red yeah yeah and then in one schedule when they are migrating uh, uh, because you know it was more documentary style uh, so then we used panasonic eva 1 yeah you were i uh, know the this film is also about migration and the you know the yes. identity issues of you yes, know where yes. one belong you know that we i just yeah. wanted to bring that element also yes, and yes. Uh, when we uh, you know the at the police station when the elders are talking with uh, the policeman you know they are asking yeah. for the aadhar uh, cards to be made or uh, yes, you know all yes, kinds yes. of issues and this was during probably you were scripting during that uh, upheaval in the kashmir Uh, yes yes no? yes yeah. where also article uh, 35 yes so, yes when <laughs> how how you could you know it is it is very organically woven into the story and yes I yes was, yeah. you know means right yeah yeah because um, uh, you know i'm very politically aware i read a lot and uh, i follow politics a lot and uh, so uh, one could see you know this issues coming up uh, uh, especially you know this whole uh, uh, cow politics uh, you know so and uh, i you know because uh, i also belong to the gujar community actually uh, which are into cow herding and uh, they are like a sister tribe the bakarwals and i was reading that but i am hindu and they are muslims you know so uh, but still i was reading that even hindus actually you know uh, who deal with with cattle uh, you know they were facing problems um, in the north and then i was fascinated i thought maybe let me study about what's happening in jnk and then i realized it was happening there also you know so then i thought yeah it's it's good to bring that into uh, uh, into the script itself and then while doing my research on my reiki i realized that on the ground people were really afraid that article 35a would be removed uh, and once uh, on our uh, tech reiki the police did not allow us also to uh, go to the valley they did not allow us to cross the jawahar tunnel uh, because people were protesting against uh, you know the fear of removal of article 35a so yeah so then i thought let me weave this also into the story you know so yeah we yeah and uh, of course i know that you did a, uh, spend a lot of time doing the research and also moving with the uh, you know <laughs> Kerwals, and uh, the gaining their trust, and uh, you know, probably otherwise all you know. You another interview I heard that uh, 
you, you yeah. most of your film you used the local people and, yeah it's uh, them except uh, the actress uh, everyone is uh, bakarwals are real bakarwals you know and they are real people i've shot in their tents in their uh, house so uh, the husband uh, actor who did the husband and the mushtaq character uh, yeah husband is also a uh, bakarwali singer so he's also from the community and the policeman also is from shrinagar he is an uh, he's an actor actually based there but he's from shrinagar so yeah that uh, mushtaq character was quite interesting you know Still slightly you know when you know, it can be it, you can't say comical but uh, yeah. you know it, there is a fun element in that yeah, character yeah humor yeah yeah and the bit of feminine uh, yes yeah. also in yes 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 yeah so that he also suited the uh, the, the role very well you know yeah exactly all of them, all of them. yeah because i did not want uh, you know because sometimes when you see that uh, you know uh, characters are written in certain way then they can become very black shaded you know so uh, and uh, very stereotypical so when i was looking for actors you know uh, he called me and i heard his voice and you know there was this gentle quality in his voice there was this kindness so it was like a brasonian casting you know i immediately decided that i have to cast him and okay. uh, then i told him that you have to act man you you are there in my film you have to come so yeah and then he agreed yeah yeah in your thanks card you know i read uh, makmal buff's name yes you know? yes yes what was the connection i i think it is in terms of the history of cinema or uh... Uh, no it's because he helped us in uh, because you know music is a very big element in my film and i wanted this quality of uh, uh, you know music also traveling across borders you know this whole idea of nomadism so uh, you know we used a tar player a sitar player so a sitar iranian sitar player we found in pune itself so he came and recorded but we were unable to find a tar player so uh, then you know my last film which was a hybrid documentary was in the idfa main competition and makbal baf was the head of the jury so i had met him there and he gave me his films and uh, his email so uh, my music director was worried and you know the film was invited to berlin there was a very short time to compose the music and he said man i can't find a tar player i have written to many people but no one is responding so then i said oh, i said let me write it to makbal maaf you know and you know in the night i wrote to makbal maaf and in the morning i when i woke up he had connected me to a tar player you know so and that very year, very nice <laughs> yeah yeah like in a few hours you know like he gave his number he connected he introduced us and then yeah he helped us yeah. incidentally you know coming to the music you know that is one point that i wanted to discuss because this film laila and uh, seven songs you know yeah, yeah. the use of music is how you know it should be in films yeah not yeah. explanatory explanatory but evocative of yeah, yeah. Uh, certain scene elements you know and yeah, it was yeah, very yeah. well done that is yeah. also <laughs> and uh, i the name uh, i couldn't read it fully chanda worker uh, is it baskar ji related to baskar ji baskar chanda worker no i also <laughs> thought he is related but he is not <laughs> <laughs> chanda worker name yeah yeah nalin chanda nice. so suddenly i remembered uh, baskar ji's glasses and all that. yeah even i also thought yeah <laughs> maybe he is related yeah 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 and uh, you know what do you think of um, you know you know cinema's role in human life uh, you know <laughs> nowadays we can see that is a it has a huge role you know the, the, because you know this whole idea of images uh, so i think it starts from our cave life when we were there in the caves you know people used to draw uh, so it has it has continued you know and then uh, this this whole aspect of sound because we cannot you know uh you know uh, subtract sound from cinema uh so the way we've uh, you know evolved actually so sound also plays a huge role uh, you know as human beings uh, you know how it shapes ideas how it shapes our thoughts uh and uh, uh, of course it i feel uh, because it it's also like it's an evolved art form you know because it combines many art forms so uh for me 
for my experience it you know it gives me peace it relaxes me it calms me down it agitates me uh you know uh it 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 takes me through uh, a sea of emotions and I, and it does to uh, to all humans actually so i think it is it is got a very important uh, role to play in the society itself and uh, the you uh, know you were uh, in a, how you no know, in 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 that sense can cinema be a tool for uh, change will uh, it help that i don't know it can be a tool for change or not yeah because that's debatable uh because uh as we've seen that uh yeah uh it does it has it has, it of course has become part of propaganda and uh, uh we can see from our own industry itself you know how it's playing to that propaganda and and films are being made and so uh of course i think uh, uh one has to resist that also by making films you know Uh, if we are artists you know so we can only fight through you know countering that propaganda yeah and uh, i think cinema has uh, one of the you know preeminent role as a subversive art <laughs> yes yes exactly yeah yeah yes yeah, so yeah, exactly. we have to fight we have to fight yeah exactly you know your film piravi is is, is such a <laughs> role and, model you know in that sense yeah yeah i would also like you to know uh, talks a bit about your uh, you know the films uh, documentary aspect or docu fictions which you did um, yeah yeah you know, yeah. especially in the rajasthan and uh, you know yeah no it's 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 in all my films this element is there so if if my fiction people find it more closer to documentary and my documentary say ah, it's very close <laughs> to fiction <laughs> because that's the line uh, you know also because i think uh, i am an actor uh, who uh, who is very fascinated by this whole idea of realism itself and and what is realism you know i, I keep asking myself and uh, you know then you know delving into that space actually helps you a lot and and like harzog says uh, you know for me uh, you know what matters is truth you know there is a higher truth you know instead of you know getting stuck in in this idea of realism one should strive for the higher truth so i am trying to do that even in my documentary you know i have done one film so it's like a hybrid uh, film all of the desert all of the desert yes yes so where uh, you know uh, most of the film is staged uh, based on the life of the manganias but because i wanted to actually highlight the musical traditions of the community uh you know also in an artistic way so that that's why you know i thought maybe because a lot of films have been made you know when i met the manganyars they showed they started showing me some korean documentaries some some french documentaries <laughs> and you can see this outsider gaze and you know uh highlighting you know this the poverty and all those aspects and then i was really uncomfortable with that and then i thought okay let me counter this you know and as a filmmaker you have many devices to do that so yeah i started doing that slowly and slowly it, then it became a dialogue with the community itself so i shot it over 5 years and then i would come and edit and then a new idea would come and then i would go there and we would shoot and then come back again so it was a fruitful experience for me as a filmmaker thank you uh, pushpendra and this was a wonderful conversation with you and uh, i will be waiting for your next film uh, yes. and uh, you know first show first man to see it you know? thank you thank you sir i also look forward to spending more time with you <laughs>